have some conversation, Mr. Darcy. A very little will survive. You should say something about the dance, perhaps. I might remark on the number of couples. You talk by rule, then, when you're dancing? Yes, sometimes it is best. Then we may enjoy the advantage of saying as little as possible. Do you consult your own feelings in this case or seek to gratify mine? of an unsocial, taciturn disposition. I'm willing to speak unless we expect to say something that will amaze the whole room. This is no very striking resemblance of your own character, I'm sure. that enable him to make friends, whether he's equally capable of keeping them is less certain. He has been unlucky as to lose your friendship in a way he's likely to suffer from all his life. Allow me to congratulate yourself. Such superior dancing is rarely to be seen. I'm sure you'll own your fair partner is well worthy of you. I hope to have this pleasure often repeated. Especially when a certain desirable event takes place. Hey, Miss Lizzie? What congratulations will then flow in? Sir, I think. <laughs> nay, nay, I understand. I'll not detain you one moment longer from your bewitching partner, sir. Pleasure, sir. Capital, capital. I remember hearing you once say that you hardly ever forgave, that your resentment once created was implacable. You are very careful, are you not, in allowing your resentment to be created? I am. And never allow yourself to be blinded by prejudice? I hope not. May I ask to what these questions tend? to the illustration of your character. I'm trying to make it out. And what is your success? I do not get on at all. I hear such different accounts of you as to puzzle me exceedingly. 